I'm going to show you the number one remedy for palpitations. It's a very easy, quick remedy. I had palpitations really bad uh, at one time. I thought it was a heart problem. It wasn't. I'll explain that. But what is a palpitation? It's an irregular, irrhythmic beat that can come and go. And before I get into the most common one, I want to cover all of the reasons why you might have palpitations. One is stress. Stress affects the cardiovascular system. It affects uh, the electrolytes behind the cardiovascular system. And so there is such a thing as stress-induced palpitations. Number two, caffeine. Too much caffeine can do it as well. Caffeine is a stimulant, and it can affect the heart. I personally only have one cup of coffee in the morning. That's it. Of course, in the past, in college, I used to drink pots of coffee, right? But I tell you, I am much healthier now than when I was in college. You know, I just have to say one little thing about that. Um, you want to learn from the mistakes of others. Of course, I didn't really do that at the time. I had to go through a lot of pain and suffering before um, I figured it out. Don't wait until you have a health. All right, number four is gluten. That's the protein in grains, certain grains. In fact, it's the only protein that can't be digested by our bodies. So it does affect our guts. And also, whatever goes on in your gut can affect your brain, and even the heart. You have this close proximity of your digestive organs to the heart and the liver. It's all kind of you know, tightly um, jammed into your chest area. And especially when you get a fatty liver, things kind of expand in there and then it presses on certain things. So you can even have a congested gallbladder that can affect the heart as well. So if you have sludge down the bile ducts that's connected from the liver to your gallbladder, that can create uh, palpitations as well. And then actually just food allergies. What happens when you have a food allergy is you get this little uh, spike in your pulse rate, right? So you do have this connection. And this is kind of in the category of what they call gastrocardiac syndrome. Gastro, digestion, cardiac, heart syndrome. So basically you eat certain things that disagree with certain things and then you get symptoms, not just palpitations, you can get heartburn, gas, bloating, and even chest pain. So, of course, the first thing I would do if I had palpitations now is kind of scan through to make sure what I'm eating is not uh, creating problems. Now, also, I want to put this on your radar, certain medications, especially the medications that decongest your sinuses, antibiotics, antifungals, thyroid medications, antipsychotic medications, antidepressants, all can affect the heart and create palpitations. I mean, that's kind of like the elephant in the room. If you're taking these medications, you have no idea what side effects could be coming from those. The next point, number seven, is hyperthyroidism. Okay, this is not as common, but if you're hyperthyroid, your thyroid's working too fast, that can definitely create heart palpitations and even severe arrhythmias. All right, number eight, electromagnetic fields. You can pick it up with a little tri-field electromagnetic field tester. I went through my room my computer. Um, I went through the entire house to find out where these electromagnetic fields were coming from in strong amounts. And I was shocked to find out in the back of my bed, my headboard, um, it was like I was literally like eight feet extended out from my headboard. There was this very strong electromagnetic field. Okay, I was being bathed in this electromagnetic field. And guess what? Your heart is electrical. So what happened was I had the electrician take down the walls and find all sorts of these cross wires. Whoever um, did the electrical did not know what they were doing. They were probably drunk when they did it because they messed everything up. When they fixed those wires, wow, my sleep improved greatly. I woke up feeling more refreshed and the palpitations went away. So you can check your computer, even like your uh, battery backup or some of the cables, and you'll be shocked to find out how much of this um, electromagnetic field is being generated. But there's all sorts of things you can do to just reposition things. And then number nine, over-exercise can create problems with the heart, uh, especially if you're not recovering or sleeping. So I've known patients and things that just overtrained and they had palpitations, and all we did is make some adjustments with that and it went away. Okay, number 10. This is the most common one right here. It is a magnesium deficiency. Magnesium is probably the most common deficiency 
uh, when someone gets arrhythmias, especially palpitations. And then I would say potassium would be the next one. 66% of the population is deficient in magnesium, probably because most of the magnesium that we get come from plants and salads and things like that. And an average person in the world consumes only like 1.5 cups of vegetable per day. You would need basically a right around uh, 7 to 10 cups of salad, or if you're doing just vegetables, maybe 4 to 5 cups. But the point is that your problem could be that you're just not getting enough from the diet. Magnesium is at the heart of chlorophyll, which actually is the green stuff in the plants. Chlorophyll mimics your blood with one tiny change as far as the chemistry goes. Blood has iron, which is red. Chlorophyll has magnesium, which is green. Not to mention when you refine foods and eat refined sugars, you are consuming something without hardly any magnesium. And if you get a blood test and it shows normal magnesium, realize that the majority of magnesium, like 99.8% of all the magnesium is inside the cell, not on your outside in the blood, it's inside the cell. So unless you do an intracellular magnesium test, you're not going to find it. A lot of medications deplete magnesium, stress depletes magnesium. So you have a couple choices. I think the best thing to do is to increase more salads, um, seven to 10 cups. What is one cup? Just think about uh, like a small handful of salad. That's one cup. Now you can also use a supplement. Uh, I recommend magnesium glycinate, but the point is magnesium is a really common electrolyte. And if you do the vegetables, you'll basically kill two birds with one stone. You'll get potassium and magnesium. And just realize it does take some time to build up um, to actually fulfill this deficiency. If you have one, it could take weeks or even some months. It doesn't always happen overnight. But I think this is a very important topic, especially if you are living with palpitations. Now, since we're on this topic of digestion affecting the heart, I think you should really get more information about this gallbladder connection as well. And for that, I put this video up right here.